Okay, me and the cool rockin' bear are back. It is your rock Ted. Right, I'm sporting a new haircut. Um, I call this the hard dog. And uh, you have to be a hard dog to get this haircut, which should rule me out because I've never been in a fight in my life and I quite like to keep it like that. Anyway, got tea. Me and Ted are ready to go with part two of Rosanna. <coughs> now, as well as the, the first solo, which I think would probably be a good contender for, you know, most succinct in and out solo in a pop song, best of all time. You know, it's, it's one of the most famous solos of that era, and it's absolutely magnificent, and it's over in seconds. Fantastic, right? At the end, they go into this jam session that I talked about, you know, where David Page plays this. On the keys, yeah. It's a wee bit like uh, Moldy Old Doe, that bit, I admit, but it's great when they do it. <coughs> and they go into this jam. The story is, it all finished, you know, the, the idea was it was a vamp. Uh, and they're going to play that bit, um, you know, a couple of times and fade it out. And much like the Stones can't hear me knocking, um, everyone just carried on playing. Because unlike the pop stars of today, these are people who actually like to play music, you know? Like, say this quietly, kids, but they actually enjoyed playing their music on real instruments in a room with each other, right? There was no um, a celebrity in a laptop, as Rick Beato and Timmy Pierce said. Okay, ran over, back to the song. So we get the first solo in Rosanna and then we get into this uh, jam session bit, this jam section is what I meant to say. Uh, <clears throat> so, you may be thinking, if you've seen me play on, 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 on these videos before, um, you may be thinking, now, I've seen you play a Charvel or a Floyd, I've seen you play you know, an Ibanez, Gem with a Floyd, and they are very suitable guitars for this sort of stuff. Why are you playing an SG Junior? And the answer is that this solo has huge bends, right? It doesn't only have huge bends, it has huge bends that have to be articulated um, really precisely. You know, and, and like, you know, me and really precise are not two phrases that go together, but, you know, I'll do my best. Now, at the start of the last video, I said, <coughs> um, David Page is playing that, and you know that Luke goes, right? And then I said, except he doesn't. And that's because that's not the lick he plays. Now in my head, and I've probably heard this album on vinyl, on cassette, on CD. I've probably bought a couple of copies of it on CD. Bootlegs, I've seen them do it live. In my head, I heard this. I'll turn the guitar about half up. Right? Uh, sorry. That's what I perceived it to be, right? <clears throat> As I'm sure a lot of you do. And I'm sure if I said, hey, what Toto song does this come from? I'm sure most people would say, oh, that's the end bit in Rosanna, but that's not what he plays, right? What he plays is this. Right? That, that's quite a lot more difficult, um, for me anyway. Um, it's got a lot more notes in it, and rather, well, I won't go back to what I thought it was because it's just going to get confusing. <clears throat> we want to play the right way not, the way, not the way I played it. So, what you play dead slow is... Okay. Right. So we're in G. Right. that line right so we're in G we're in a 15th position shape and we bend that uh, E which as you know is the sixth right and we go right so we bend the E up to F fret the D and then go down to this note which is a C then we play a G minor arpeggio. The arpeggios are going to be quite, quite, you know, good sort of tools to remember the solo in this. So uh, we then play a G minor arpeggio upside down, right? So we go. I 
and that's the first lick, right? So we're cooking here, right? Ted's great at this, by the way. I mean, many of the night we just jam out on Rosanna. You know, I play the keyboard, but and Ted's just like, man, he's tearing it up. So, first line, first lick. Right? Second lick, you'll recognise. If I play it right, So that is, we play a double stop, um, and we're looking to go from E to F. So we're looking to kind of go, <coughs> pardon me, E, 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 F. But the way we do it is, now you'll never flub that if you play it like that, but the thing is, it, it's, it's not, he, he does it with a bend, so... There's different ways to play that F. Um, you know, one of them is to do this. Now that's all right. Uh, it means bending that note, <coughs> which is um, an E flat. But the other way, the, the, I think the easier way is to go. It's, I'm just playing E, I'm just bending D up to E. And then I'm taking the E note and bending that half a second. So, so far I've got. Right, this is where it gets a bit tricky. Next lick from Steve. <clears throat> now that's that's just off. It's off a five minute scale, you know. Um, it's a fairly conventional lick, but I mean, as in Carmen, you know, he can play a fairly conventional lick and make it sound like, you know, you've never heard that lick before. So... So we fret the, G, the F note, fret the G, then back to F and uh, D. <clears throat> now it sounds as if everybody is, well you can't be over excited playing music, but it sounds as if everybody's like, you know, getting their freak on. So, yeah, I, I can actually see my string you know, shaking like mad there, so that's really what you want. Right. After this bit, <clears throat> it gets uh, even more complex. So let's stop there. And what we've got, if you want to practice it, if you're interested at all in playing the solo, you may not be. What we've got so far is. And what comes next is, uh, is Fab. Back in two minutes.